Hi, this is Dave Matthew with an Audio Precision Quick Tip. In this quick tip, we're going to visit the analog input channel count and termination settings for APX instruments. Of course, the analyzer performance specifications vary across the APX series, with the APX555 boasting the best numbers. But the controls and settings are all similar. That's what we'll look at here. In Signal Path Setup Input Output, choose Input Configuration, Connector, Analog Unbalanced, Balanced, or Custom. For the APX586, you can choose up to 16 input channels. For the APX585 and 582, up to 8 input channels. For the APX526, up to 4 input channels. For the other instruments, you can choose 1 or 2. The acoustic, mic cal, labels, and filters selections will be discussed in other videos. For the APX582, 585, and 586, the unbalanced input termination is fixed at 100 kiloohms. Balanced is 200 kiloohms. For the APX515, the choices are 200 kiloohms or 600 ohms balanced, 100 kiloohms or 600 ohms unbalanced. For the APX525, 526, and 555, the choices are 100 kiloohms, 300 ohms, and 600 ohms unbalanced, and 200 kiloohms, 300 ohms, and 600 ohms balanced. Most circuits are best measured using high impedance inputs with 100 kiloohm or 200 kiloohm input termination. However, your device under test or test case might specifically require an input termination of 600 ohms or 300 ohms. The input connector menu also provides a custom selection. In custom, you're allowed to choose different connectors, termination resistances, and coupling settings for each channel. More on coupling in the input filters video. That's all for now. You'll find detailed information in the documentation provided with APX500. Look for additional quick tips at ap.com. And thanks for watching.